How are you, Connor? Good, good. Yeah, no, I'm well, thank you. How are you doing? How's, how's good, I'm very well. Thank you. Nice. Just sorry. finished my uh, morning routine. Did some oh, gymnastics yeah. and some uh, cold therapy. I'm freezing oh, really? now. <laughs> <laughs> is that like ice bath kind of cold therapy? Or is that, Jeez. yeah. Wow. Do you have your own ice bath or something? In, I have in... a pool, which oh, is yeah. freezing. And, if, <laughs> if, and during the summer, I use the, uh, I use the shower. It's what I do to, it just, uh, I can't do without it. Yeah, do you do that each and every morning then? TC every morning, every day. Wow. I bet that surely really does wake you up each day. <laughs> see, see, it makes me feel alive and it's, um, mm. it's less, it's less painful than what you, than, than what you can think. It, yeah. You get used to it. It, it is, it is, it, it, it's very challenging at the, at the beginning. Mm -hmm. but then it's uh it's, yeah, it's all in your head yeah it's taking that step and not being afraid more than anything because sure. once you're in your body it 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 um it the it uh it creates like a protection throughout your body mm -hmm. and you don't actually feel the cold it's more it's more if you're not used to it it's more uh, yeah. of the panic that oh because when 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 um when you do go into cold the first thing that is missing is your breath so the nervous system goes to your brain and it's it's like a death alert because yeah you know so that's why you panic but once you sort of understand what you're doing and you stand still you have to be completely still then your mm -hmm. body is like a protection and and you basically you, you're training your body and your mind to be um to be more focused and and to be in control during stress yeah for sure because obviously it all starts with the breath so you're focusing on that breath internally but do you yeah. try and then use that practice in the rest of your lives then obviously well, when you, it, when you... it 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 um how do you say it uh it changes you, I think. Well, it's change. It's changing me, but I needed a big changing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm starting from far away. It's it. Uh, yeah, we all have our things to fix, I suppose. So yeah, of uh, course, uh, of course. I've, I was actually. I'm a big promoter of the uh, ice therapy. Anyway, I try to sell mm. it to everyone because it's a. Uh, <laughs> for me, it's an invaluable to, uh, tool. For me. Yeah. I I just couldn't do without it. So. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been doing ice therapy for and, and breath work like that? Then? I've been doing, well, initially it was, I started during, uh, during COVID and uh -huh. um, initially it was, um, initially I, I, I did the um, Wim Hof uh, method oh, yeah. and, uh, but apparently the, uh, the uh, breathing part in the cold environment isn't something scientifically yet approved by the scientific uh, world because oh. there's a lot of a lot of people that faint i don't know if you've ever noticed when people go into ice baths they always wear a, a hat because wow. basically what's what's happening is that your body switches off and all all the blood goes to your to your brain oh wow so and people pass and, out. And, and so Sorry, no, all the, all the, what was the mechanism? All the, all the blood goes to, I don't remember the exact mechanism. Anyway, what mm. happens is that basically the change of temperature uh, makes you, makes you faint. And yeah, so it, wouldn't it all retract back in towards your major organs? I, I yeah, something that like that. Yeah, exactly. So, out, some, yeah. Something like that, but 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 the um, so once once you go into the water for, with with the Wim Hof system, basically you start breathing intense intensely, mm. and you start filling. It's as if you were filling a tank of of, of oxygen, and then you main you tr you uh, you stop breathing, mm -hmm. and then you keep your breath, and and basically the feeling is as if oxygen is pushed throughout your body. Yeah. And but but it's 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 you start feeling very very light, and and the more you do it, the more repetitions you do. The more you feel light, and mm -hmm. there are people that start 
you know, and if you do it in cold water, the risk of of uh, fainting is 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 pretty yeah. great. So yeah. I stopped doing that because I I understood that I um, I wasn't comfortable with it. It's it's no. a little bit too extreme for me. Yeah, so yeah, for sure. and then especially to to be, to be practicing it by yourself, you, you don't really want to particularly pass see, out. In, see, in, well, in, my my in, my wife my wife was um, when I was doing the brief. I do I do the cold alone now. Mm -hmm. But I'm very careful not to put my head in. But my wife was is is was always present when I was doing the breathing. And then I start I started doing them separately. But I still wasn't comfortable with the breath. The breathing is too extreme. Yeah. And it all goes for me. I started looking for this water, let's say, um, therapy for this cold therapy because I have a uh, I have a, a little bit of asthma, uh -huh. and um, and so. I'm a little bit claustrophobic mm. and um, I was in Thailand when, when, um, when the tsunami hit in uh, back in, um, wow. in uh, 2004. Yeah. And so my relationship with water is, uh, is uh, yeah, is not, is not. The, the, so that for me is the That's most stressful possible. environment <clears throat> possible. Yeah. And, and obviously cold is 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 not only uncomfortable but cold also represents you putting yourself out there you getting mm -hmm. out of your comfort zone you jumping into the dark you trying you know all those things that 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 you have to do to progress in life in a way yeah, you know exactly. so and on a, on a daily basis it keeps you sharp and not lazy which i have a tendency to being mm -hmm lazy it, it, it fights your it, fight, it makes you fight your own nervous system right it makes you it makes you fight your, your own impulses to not do something and and push yourself forward through that barrier yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so. and that that mentality to be able to then use that strength in in your own personal life and personal industry um personal career and, and stuff like that is a, is a great way to to continue to motivate yourself going forwards because See, for me for me forgive me uh, uh, i don't want to interrupt but but for me it's not about motivate I've always, i'm 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 very motivated mm -hmm. but it's about being on the right side of the moon yeah. <laughs> like being on the right side of yourself to yeah. go through the music industry sorry go, go ahead yeah yeah no that that's basically it. i was just curious to how how you've uh, that help had that help you change in your 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 your, your pro professional career how that's helped to affect the most recent changes that you've had to go through because there's been a the flash mob projects obviously it's been, it's been around for for a long time now and i i, I i'm i'm very interested into how you because we spoke quite a bit recently as well how about your your vision of going forward in that aspect of your career is now and it and I'm now just putting the two together with the with the breath work and the focus on the the inner self more. Um, is yeah, that yeah, yeah. You just picked up in the last couple of years more. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very connected. The two things are completely connected. Um, mm. So, well, during COVID, I, um, as everyone, I suppose, I I sort of realised I wasn't very happy with yeah. in my in my uh, in my work. Let's say in the work area of my life. I wasn't happy because I was um, not necessarily enjoying what I was doing. Yeah. Because obviously as, as anything, if you do it a lot, if you're doing 10, 15 gigs a month, how, how can you enjoy it? Yeah. I mean, the things that, that are put on media are just bullshit. Yeah. There's no, nobody physically can 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 enjoy being out as much playing as much getting messed traveling. up as much traveling <laughs> as much uh being away from yourself as much because let's not forget that that doing intensive touring takes you as much as you can go to the gym try to be healthy try to entertain yourself try to study try to make music while while being on the road as much as you can have company your tour manager or your cameraman or, your, or whoever's with you or your, your family, your friend. And occasionally you can stop in places and visit places. And as much as you can do that, you're not home. You're not sleeping in your bed. You don't have uh, possession of your time. 
okay. and uh, and you're not able to be in the studio listening to old records, building up your musical culture to build up your capacity to improve your music. You're not able to sit down and just stay with the music because the, 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 my, my feeling was that, for example, uh, my son, Carlo, mm -hmm. he listens to music and, and, and when I was home, I noticed because being home, I switched from, I was in Peru when the uh, COVID struck and I was supposed to go to Ireland and then ended up going home. And then after two days, they canceled the gig and we were closed in yeah. as everyone in the house. So, and I, and, and being home, I, I started noticing how my, how much my son listened to music. And I started thinking, I don't listen to that much. I mean, I listen to music for work. But I don't listen. I don't use music as I use. I don't use music as a music lover mm -hmm. as I used to. Mm -hmm. So you listen to electronic music all the time, yes. But but you're listening to it because you need to, because you want to know everything about it, because you 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 want to listen to what other people are doing. You want to listen to your influences. You want to listen to people that inspire you. But you're not listening to music as a medicine. Mm -hmm. So. Do you find that you're still analyzing music even outside of the electronic sphere with that sort of mentality because you're constantly rebuilding and, and reprogramming the the, art, the work yourself in, in terms of your own creations going forward? Do you find you struggle, therefore, to listen to just music in general because you've got that analytical sphere of your brain towards it? Or is that uh, just... No, not, not so much. No, it's just... Passion? It's just it's just the fact that I I fell in love with music and and when after my experience in Thailand I was I was studying law and mm -hmm. well actually I'd, I'd already finished law and I was walking into the law in industry let's say and uh, and when I came back from Thailand I decided I would do what I loved the most which was music mm -hmm. yeah. and I wasn't so young anymore so it was a big risk to take. But it was um, it was what what it was necessary for me just to, you know, you you get a second opportunity in life and you don't you it changes you in a way. So yeah, definitely. So I went into music because I loved music in every form. I used to be a I was DJing already and 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 but I as a passion, not not you know, and yeah. I, I, I lived with music like my son does. He listens to music as a medicine, as a relaxation process, as, as, as some, as, as a tool to just switch off, yeah. which is incredible. Like self learnt 12 years old, you use mu music correctly. And then you love music. You go into the music industry 20 years later, you Actually, 20 years later, exactly this year is 20 years later. Anyway, so uh, um, 20 years later, you realize, well, it wasn't 20 at the time because it was uh, COVID when I realized this. Um, so I, I just uh, realized that I wasn't, uh, I didn't even have the time to utilize music as much as I, and I was using music, although I walked into music for very specific reason for, uh, you know, yeah, I, I find myself then okay. I I, I managed to make it uh, turn it into a job, and mm. and and I studied all these years to make music, and I love making music. That's the thing that I love the most. Mm -hmm. It's the thing that interests me. I keep studying. I keep making music. I'm 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 always at it, nonstop. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, I realized that that I wasn't. Uh, uh, going back to COVID, I realized that I wasn't using music as as in in a pure in a pure way anymore. Yeah. Sure. So the 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 my job, my mindset, and the and the uh, the uh, what do you say the um, what what the industry expects from you, what the industry pushes you to do, what the media push you to do. Mm -hmm. the expectancy is that the correct word yeah uh, push, pu pushes you to to a point where 
you don't you you have to be this you have to do that and 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 you don't have the time there's so many things to do you don't have really have the time to listen to music and and really um to and properly really digest be, the music you need to be in a see, and, mindset correctly like just use music in in a in a pure way and and or or even if you're not using music in a pure way just be with electronic music in the correct way which means being able to listen to a full album in an afternoon lying down on a couch and just reflecting on it reflecting to about the sounds reflecting spotting having the time to spot all the the um all the references yes. that, that you can find in 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 in, in, uh, in somebody else's music and then oh, oh. go and discover uh, uh, those artists and go and dig a little bit more and then maybe find things yourself that that you find interesting for your own kind for of sure. vision no i, th I so, think in recent years it's become even more difficult in in terms of the way that streaming services are are pushing shorter segment of music um it, it seems that like in terms of some algorithms that a shorter a track um drives more attention to that record and, and that playlist so I don't know if it's partially because of social media is blowing up with TikTok and and things like that. There seems like there's a slightly sh shorter attention span than yeah. perhaps five years ago there was, where someone would much more willingly sit down and listen to a full album. And that's exactly it. it. I mean, that's exactly it. And I'd like to expand on that, yeah. if I may. Sure. Um, so sure. 20 years ago, you would... I mean, I started listening to Jean-Michel Jarre. I would, I would close myself into a room, dark room, and just sit down and listen. Yeah. <laughs> and I would go crazy. Oxygen, arpeggiator, uh, concert in, in, in China. I would go crazy. My Goldfield, uh, uh, all of those, I, uh, a craft where I would go crazy and just listening. And yeah. I had all the time in the world to do that. Yeah. Now, we're all drugged with these. So... Yeah. The, the finger is so fast that they we have to do edits of our tracks otherwise if you do, if you're not directly into the main part of the track people w won't have the time to listen and even even mm -hmm. i mean even when i talk about videos that we use you're talking 9 10 seconds and then yeah. game over it's crazy <laughs> so this this is exactly it it took me 8 months during covid to sort of um get a hold of myself mm -hmm. physically uh and mentally and yeah. then so for, for like eight nine months i didn't even i i wouldn't come into this room this is the studio where yeah. i where i make my music <laughs> Very good. Oh, lovely. yeah <laughs> yeah that's, that's the main part i love that nature out there yeah and, need that element. Uh, it took me uh yeah I, I just didn't walk in here for for months really for months. yeah and then and then i started realizing what kind of a bad mindset i, I had built um due to expectation due to my drive due due to my probably my uh, me being so competitive in a way uh yeah. during due to my experience in thailand so feeling so responsible for you know this second opportunity and blah 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 all all of this needed to be cleaned up so i started a process of of of, of, of cold showers i i started understanding where all of this came from which yeah. was probably my experience in thailand and yeah. and so this claustrophobic feeling that that experience gives me because it's uh it's mm -hmm. like a switch off it's like a silence and then yeah, oh, it's difficult to yeah. explain yeah, but, no, but i went to uh, i had this this experience during covid that really made me understand what the nature of my problem uh, was yeah, uh, and it was when well, i went to the maldives for a, 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 a an electronic festival Hmm. I was very uncomfortable going in the uh, in that area of the world on an island, hmm. uh, and uh, and the first thing that I um, when I walked into the into the room, the, I opened the wardrobe, and the first thing that I saw was a life jacket. 
<laughs> I'd already been freaking out for a couple of weeks with the thought that I had to go there. And then when yeah. I saw that, it just freaked me out. So wow. that made me understand oh, that, so. that my relationship with water. And yeah. then I tried to do a diving while I was there. I had a like a panic attack. So, mm -hmm. and that's when I started analyzing water. So I, so I said to myself, how can I use water how can I get over this, 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 yeah. uh, try this to take control of it yourself, right? Which, In some way. Yeah, but, 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 it, but it's the water is a representation of how we live our lives for me. No? Yeah. So the freedom you have, the freedom to choice, the freedom to be able to run a race in, in your own terms, this mm. famous rat dog yeah. race that everyone talks about blah, yeah, blah, blah. the freedom of the freedom of being yourself musically the freedom of not being afraid to speak the freedom of, of not being afraid of putting an album out that that is diverse that is not necessarily mm -hmm. what people expect what what people uh want from you or what uh, but simply what what you've done of course so yeah. what you love and what your feelings in music as a form mm -hmm. of art put in an album and put out there and the freedom to do all these things. And I and and so I I I randomly came through Wim Hof on online and, and and I just said, oh, that's it. And then I started doing that and started having a lot of uh, benefits from it. And um yeah, I'm shaking talking about this. <laughs> so uh, it, is, it is incredible the power that it can bring to yourself to be able to take that element of control back and then carry that through into other aspects of your life. Obviously, sometimes we're put in situations where we, we can't control and we are panicky and, and made to, to think and feel in certain ways. But having an idea of at least... You say water represents the, the 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 challenges of life and and the unpredictability of life, um, but being able to take some element of of personal control back in that way, I think is is very empowering and inspirational as well. Um, for it's it's happiness for me because mm. it 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 really makes you think of, of how it immediately makes you think of how you were living before. Yeah. Of course, and, of course. Uh, sorry for, so, yeah. for ring the bell. But anyway, so yeah, so my my, uh, my the, the reflections then came naturally being mm. in water because when when you're in water, you would you would think that um, that cold is is the is is the main element that is bothering you, uh, and you think that um, and, and so what is the fear of going in for in cold water? The fear of going in cold water is is a um, it's, it's it's in your head mm -hmm. yeah as cool. the expectation of being what the media asks you it's in your head mm -hmm. it's a bad habit cold water is a good habit yeah. yeah yeah so all of these things and then it builds up and it and it builds up into something where in, in and 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 you put yourself in a place where mm -hmm. where you can be free yeah yeah, because and you, I still have to do it to remain free because I am attacked as anyone from the media, from expectation, from uh, from the representation that I that that the, that the media build in your head that you have to be this, this, and that to be accepted, successful, uh, accomplished, uh, mm -hmm. fulfilled. And it's not true because at the end it's, of the day it's it's crazy. I mean, I mean, just 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 referring back to what we said about the short music bites, it it, it takes away with with that whole element of the, of the media and and everyone looking towards artists like that. It takes away the idea that the the memory that it is an art form, it, it is an expression of art. Music is is a way in which the the creator can can relay energy and emotion back to an audience through their own art forms and their own feelings and, and when you're then suddenly having to to, to, to second guess and, and double think what your expression of that art might, might be in in the music itself or even in the in the way in which you carry say the record label or 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 the artistry just in a whole it is it, it's, it's so um, unfortunate unfair whatever we want to want to want to call it that the external mindsets or or uh, mediators do unfortunately have this sort of impact to 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 artists and 
uh, and the like throughout the industry because of the way that technology has has grown itself into in the last few years, I think, especially. But mm. it has been. But also how we've how we've let this take the lead. I mean, if yeah. if uh, there's there's only two ways to, in my opinion, there's only two ways to. I mean, the industry is now suffocated by by uh, bullshit yeah. and i'm not someone that is is um i'm not someone that would say oh you know i i look online if i go online and i see someone being successful or it's it's like the um i'll give you a, an external example to make you understand mm -hmm. how i think uh jake paul He's uh, he's uh, about to fight the, uh, the the best boxer ever, right? Yeah. Or one of. Yeah. So a lot of the people are saying, "Oh, but he's a YouTuber, and he's you know it's 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 bullshit, and this is not uh, good for for boxing, and blah blah blah, and blah blah blah." But the reality of it is that this guy trains like an animal. He's twenty seven, and 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 there's probably a a, a there's there's a, probably a back plan a hidden plan a hidden agenda yeah. that is 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 uh is so trying yeah, to rebuild boxing into a interesting you no know, so that's the real agenda yeah. of the so the the uh, and the real agenda of the music industry is not music anymore it's just sell tickets and make spec you know use people that are willing to be clowns to yeah. to sell tickets and and that's taking away from the music industry uh the the juice which is the sport the music for sure yeah. this is so i don't i don't i and, and as i said so for me jake paul he's um he's doing something that is 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 arguably uh good at the end of the day because he's bringing attention back you can argue about how how they're doing it because obviously but it's just a bad i'm very bad at it yeah. no 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 but it, 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 probably it, it, this is but but um I'm I'm not someone that says, oh, you know, or oh, uh, um, this guy is is uh, doing the big festivals and so, but he's a promoter. He's not a DJ, yeah. which is nearly always the case. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm not. Um, how do I say? I don't. How do you say? You you don't hate the player. You hate the game. Yeah. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's that's exactly what what I mean. So. Exactly. I'm, I'm happy for the people that are enjoying their DJing experience, but it's it's probably not the best uh, thing for the music industry to have people that that are supposed to push the electronic music in uh, move movement from yeah. a cultural point of view, from a from a uh, uh, you know to have people that are not competent enough to do it. Of course. And, that, that's because the, they only, understand that, maybe a, a, the popularity aspect of it because that's what they're an influence. They're they're they're, they're, you, they're influential in, in the front facing public view, but actually having spent the years behind the scenes growing up in small musical corners of the world <laughs> to have that sort of like longevity element that runs throughout their entire project just with some artists that have exploded across the scene and taken such a big chunk of the revenue or the exposure that's been around in the last few years, especially since COVID, it, it is a strange and a very confusing sort of position for the artists that are very true to them, to, to themselves, to the industry and to the way in which we truly want to be regarded. Um, it is, it is a bit of a unusual, unusual moment because we're sharing lineups with people that have come from that sort of base. If you understand what I mean, they, they come from... but it is what it is. I mean, you know, I, I, I also, uh, when, when, um, when I first hit the, uh, the, uh, the charts and, and blah, blah, blah. I also had a moment where my head was, was spinning and, yeah. and it's, it's, it's a process. So I understand it in a way. I understand what what you know being able to gain success in 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 such a difficult industry. I, I understand what it can do to you. I can understand. Of course. And uh, it's not anyone's fault. There are people that that are are born to be entertainers, and there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that either. So I, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's just uh, my my only concern is is the growth of electronic music that's that's the only thing where i 
I, I'm fine with everyone. Everyone is fine. You want to dance. You want to do this. You want to do that. It, it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I, I have made my own choice because I don't want to be someone that is, is uh, puppied by, uh, you know, I don't want to be a slave of myself, of my desire to be seen, to be, to do this, to do that, to, uh, to fulfill an expectation that isn't, I just want to be happy and to be happy, you have to be in control and you have to be true to yourself and true to your music. If that's what you do. And yeah. if it does make you happy uh, in any way, inter entertaining in a certain way, it's, it's, uh, it's, that's great as well. It's, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Again. Um, it's, I don't see, the way things, are, although things things are changing a little bit, a, lo a lot of people are talking about this, so it must be a little. The, the, there is a, a wind of change, probably. But the only concern is that you know, I see. Yeah, I'd like to see more more music. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't really. I don't really. Uh, some of the best bands uh, at the moment that are leading the the market they 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 clearly auto buy generated yeah they and when you see them play they they're like they're embarrassed you can see they're not doing something that belongs to them yeah so i don't i i have nothing against them it's just that that like how could how can we accept that exactly because it's just it, it's as if to say it's as if I owned AC Milan and I and I put my son that is not that good at playing football because he plays tennis and I just put him into a, 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 a Premier League match and you can tell he doesn't belong there but you know he's my son and and nobody says anything about it yeah because because Position it's been... it's 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 got to this point now. On the other hand, there are some great artists that I really admire. It's it's not. I don't I don't think it's the case of um, that's the general trend, like the more commercial side of it. But but there's there's some incredible music being made at the moment. So there's yeah. so many great artists, and I keep receiving great demos for the um, for the uh, label. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm doing several collaborations with with artists that I really really love and that give me great ideas that we can develop and and often I try to put my platform uh, to that service uh, and and my name that save for, for 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 that same uh, for music and this is what I've done with and then for example for this uh, for this upcoming release exactly uh, on... yes definitely because so i'm very curious to so where did the connection with and then come with well, Origin? luke has been sending me music and i i've i've uh admired him um i've i've, I've i know who he is i know his music i've i've played his songs and mm -hmm. and this great idea came up and yeah. and it was boom it's perfect perfect for this moment for for what i'm trying to do for the sound, yeah. Uh, for yeah, for the yeah. different flavors that I'm trying to put in in my music right now, because I'm I'm um, twenty minutes ago probably you asked me how all of the changes are reflected in what's coming. Mm -hmm. So all of these change, all of all, everything we spoke about has reflected in. Um, in me feeling more free to experiment and to do different things and to find new sounds. And because this is what has always kept me going, my curiosity to experiment new things in, in electronic music. I, I, yeah. I strongly don't believe in someone that is making the same beats for 20 years and playing the same tracks for 20 years. I mean, if I had stayed yeah. where I was I'd still be playing the same tracks today for the same brand in the same way. And I yeah. wouldn't have grown as a person. I wouldn't have put myself in, in a, in a difficult situation to grow, to be better. And if I ever do, if I ever were to make some other uh, incredible tracks, that's, that's, that 
that only comes from the fact that I've wanted to grow within the industry and to grow, you have to try new things and make mistakes, get lost. And then you refine yourself and then you, and if you're good at something, you don't, I don't think you have to be too scared about being, you know, being forgotten or, uh, yeah. not being as relevant anymore it's just everything's in your head if if the music is right it will you know everything will take uh will take it to its place so this to explain what what mm -hmm. the mindset uh of, of this and i've been playing with some afro but also housey but also techy in a way and Correct. also mainstream things and putting them all together, which yeah. in um, which are represented in 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 the upcoming album in a way as well in some yes. of the tracks in four or five there are th uh, there are three four tracks where you can hear that like the next step and then there's the mega next step which is the outro of the album. Yeah, for sure. And what. I'm do what I've I've done with uh, Luke, and then is let's say um, a um, the, the the more housey, but still with that rolling sort of um, beat mm -hmm. that and is that, somewhere is that... in between from where I was and where I'm going, and so it was it was just perfect to develop together. Yeah, the, for sure. Yeah. And is that kind of the sound that you want the label to be releasing it more as well as your own personal? But you see, again, the label, the label, the label has been releasing a lot of, uh, a lot of techie tr tracks, but a lot of house tracks. Yeah. And a lot of bangers. So it's as if oh what it's as if I asked you what what is Tool Room releasing? Are they releasing house yeah. music? Or are they releasing tech house? Of course, they're just releasing bangers, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're right. And and that's not and and I don't think they do that because uh, it's convenient economically. I just think that they do that because it's just because the house music is 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 not something that you can define uh, that easily. And if you love Mm -hmm. music electronic music and if you're someone that plays and you understand how you can cross that bridge super easily and so i don't i don't this is why i i am the way i am in uh, eclectic yeah. um, i i try to i i feel that i i feel free to i i mean i can play techno tracks at times yeah. that's just depends one. how you drop them this is this is uh right. The right no? crowd, the right place. Exactly. Or you can play a super old, old school house set and then drop a, like an old techno track or. Yeah, exactly. Or what was considered techno 20 years, 30 years ago, and now would be considered house or it's just. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I mean, house, exactly. Um, I mean, it's sped out so quickly now. So what, what I was thinking, what came to my mind immediately talking mm. about, um, because I did another collaboration with um, with a Polish guy earlier this year, and and then and who's that? Sorry, uh, uh, Luis Piel with Robert Owens as well. So I I, I basically mm -hmm. so you know you know that you know that um, uh, you know that face that you see in many DJs these days. Many entertainers, let's say, more than DJs. Uh, it's that face that uh, that face that that expresses, you know, I'm better than everyone else. I've got the power right now. Yeah, I'm. Definitely. You know that 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 face yeah. that has nothing Arrogance, to do with almost. Okay, yeah, but it's as if it's as if they had a gift that no one else. Yeah had it's as if they know, knew a secret that no one else knows and in reality mm -hmm. they're just a lot of them are friends with someone else or have been extremely lucky or just incredible entertainers but nothing to do with music as as we were saying before etc so collaborating with new names and putting the platform um at service uh, uh, you know trying to help new artists etc is exactly the opposite of that 
it's it's exact it's exactly for me it represents acknowledging how hard it is to be you know to to find a little space in the music industry it means acknowledging how how hard it is as as a fight to have a, an opportunity uh, how hard it is because nobody replies to nobody and everyone <laughs> super fine and everyone's super kind and everyone is all the same and we're all this and we're all that and it's and it's and it's not like that at all yeah because people at every level just ignore each other that's no it. one gives a shit it, it's one of the only that's industries all. where everyone has to be used to the standard reply not being a reply <laughs> and so for me for me uh th this way of you know uh, uh middle fingering this whole fakeness and this whole mechanism that i mm. that that i disagree with is yeah. for me collaborations and pushing new names and using my uh my platform for these uh purposes is a way of trying to change things to, to, it's a way of putting um new things in 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 the mix you know yeah, yeah. Uh, i i and i always I always tend to study to the core whoever it is I'm I'm collaborating with. I'm more interested in the not not more interested, but I'm very interested in the person on top of the music. It's not only yeah. about the music. I mean, sometimes people are given opportunities because of how they are on top of the experience they've had on top of what they represent on top of their brand on top of on top of their musical capability abilities the producer how how they produce how they i mean if 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 a management company for example has to invest in you um yeah i mean yeah so many people there's so many it's very easy to dj there's so many so many DJs that don't make their own music, yeah. And it all comes down to what kind of person you are, if you're reliable or not, to make yeah. an investment of time into. So that's what of it's become. It is of an investment both in time and finances from other people. That, other oh, parties. So yeah, yeah. so I'm very glad yeah. of this uh, collab with with and then it's just a, yeah. a, a track that I I played it Saturday. Yeah, and it's. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing track. It's a great track. Yeah, we're very much looking forward to it coming out this Friday. <laughs> the big <laughs> promo, and we're very much looking forward to And Then's uh, guest mix as well. Uh, he's going to be having the, the big whole full hours guest mix on Thursday. So yeah. Luke's going to do that. Yes, uh, yes, yes. And then yes, so uh, we're, we're looking forward with that. Um, but yeah, no, with um, your label going uh, going forward and uh, um, for this year, are you looking to feature more collaborations of the likes of And Then, or, or are you hoping to put more in more separate artists out or your own music? What, how, how's the sort of direction you th you're feeling well, for the rest of this year? So I've already been uh, told I've already done too many collaborations. <laughs> so <laughs> um, it's not it's not something that my whole sort of team is you know is mm -hmm. to it. There's there's a business side to it as well. So you know I try I try to to be able to, to, I, to I try to put myself in the position to do these things when it's it's a really great yeah idea that that I yeah. Yeah. I get sent. Or when there's, you know, someone and I, so I'm I'm doing one more collaboration with Devotions, uh, for Tool Room, uh -huh. cool. and then after that, I uh, as from June, late June, I'm gonna start putting out the singles for the album. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna start putting out. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much we could talk about the album, but um, by okay, all we can to, we can talk uh, about it. It's the, yeah. the time. The timeline is 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 not final yet, but it's the album's done. It's pretty much yeah. I'm just waiting to coordinate all the different parties involved, but it yeah. should be like something like yeah, four or five singles, and then the album yeah. dropping around AD this year. Around uh, AD as well, great, great. So, <laughs> sure. So in the meantime, I'm developing 
um the fundament the the, the um how do you say the uh, the main structure of, of, yeah. of not not of another album i'm not sure maybe of another album uh -huh. but definitely of i'm 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 feeling i'm putting myself uh in a free position to experiment mm. uh, um that's great more mainstream kind of of, of sound and uh, which is house but it's it's it, but it's also uh, it's a mixture of things so i'm just i have the freedom and the time i'm mm. um, i'm not playing as much as i used to play before covid so that gives me a, a, a lot of time i'm yeah. feeling very healthy so i'm i'm really building my um my I ideal world uh, exactly. to be because to be happy. <laughs> you've been in the business uh, long enough now you know to, to, to help figure out what your ideal world is i guess um and, it, and obviously times change and and situations <laughs> change but going forwards i know that, that yeah well, especially when we've spoken previously there's a lot that you see your future very differently to maybe 10 years ago in, 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 yeah, in of course. The, wanted them completely and well till you know till six six years ago i was playing yeah like multiple festivals in different countries on the same day <laughs> really? so, in the same day and so you know yes. i can't do that anymore i don't want to do that anymore but at the same time i i i uh, i still want to keep touring america i still want to be touring south america i definitely want to see my uh my brand on on day festivals and and, mm -hmm. and maybe do more festivals uh i've got some really great festivals coming uh, yeah. i'm playing one in uh, biggest disco in in dublin which is a massive festival and then yeah. a selected festival in croatia and yeah. those yeah. are the things that interest me now uh you know and just making my music continue building my brand my platform mm -hmm. and just being happy and then if i have to tour intensively uh in the right way i'm why why not but yeah. i'm not going to oblige myself to to do it if i don't want to no 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 completely i don't need that to no to feel good with myself you know no no exactly i mean that's a, a brilliant brilliant position to be in and i guess in doing that you naturally will hopefully have more time to construct your own music more make easy spend more time yeah and it's all it's and it's all in my head it's all in our in our heads Sure. It's not that I'm doing this because I'm privileged in any way or because I've earned it in any way or because I've uh, I'm just doing it because it's what I feel the right thing to do for me. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And because politically, I, I should be saying, oh, yeah, I'm playing, you know, I'm playing all the time and I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm playing the good gigs. I'm playing. I played Studio 338 and it was insane. It was yeah. so good. And like you know and then the, also another thing that it's uh another thing that people tend to forget is that even when you're touring extensively it's not that all the gigs are good yeah like 10 gigs you would get four gigs are good three gigs are like like this mm -hmm. and then you get three shit gigs as well <laughs> and then because managers and agents they you know they are completely rinsing trying to not all of them of course but yeah if you're living the hype moment they to make you busy right <laughs> but how busy do you need to be to what's yeah. the final goal this is this is the the, the key on the long on the long run what's, yeah, the, what's long the final goal is it is it music or is it just yeah is it just quick sales is, is it is it posting it? is it posting on your instagram that you're busy and that you're leading an, inter an interesting life which is not even yours you're not possessing that life you're not living it at the end of the day you see no. and yeah. so for me stepping away from from this mindset and just diving into into life back again yeah. that's what COVID has represented for me being able to restart living my life without you know being um a slave yeah yeah exactly being forced through someone else's direction and what what someone else is trying to force on from the outside world into, exactly into, into and then 
also, oh, I have to sign this. I have to, oh, this label and they don't reply. And all of that is exhausting. So yeah. just do your own thing. I mean, this is what I'm doing. I'm releasing on my own label. I'm doing my album on my own label. And if you if you work properly and, and, tru and truly, people do notice, no? Yeah, so, definitely. 100 uh, percent and but mostly um, you will be happy and fulfilled because it's all on your time Terry. it all depends from you it's all for really. you and no? it, yeah and, 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 and then you that is organically much better way of running organic. the project than having than having these outside feelings and and other people's opinions that might not even have a speciality in in the music that you're creating trying to try to put their opinion into exactly into your direction and yeah. also i've 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 sort of developed in 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 this last period i've also sort of understood how um especially going to the gym mm -hmm. this is strange but after many many years listening to electronic music and and you're always you know people like me that have made i've made like nearly 200 records so <laughs> you're like thinking you know what's what's the key to make that I've had, I don't think that way now, but part of me in the studio is looking for a hit record, always, no? So I'm running, I'm, I'm training in the gym and I'm thinking, oh, so this is what people that are outside of the electronic music listen to. Uh -huh. Yes. So that through the years, through in these last four years, that's what really has changed my perspective in mm. in uh, in uh, and it's strange because because I often talk to people that are maybe even supposed to advise be advising me and they and they're pushing me to do the old flash mob house and and I'm like who listens to that anymore that's underground yeah I've done that I've already I done. I do still live, listen to "Needed Me." I'll be honest, but um, good of for course. you. <laughs> uh, uh, I know, I know no, exactly I'm, what you mean, though, because. But, it, but "Needed Me" has has gone a little bit. You know, it's 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 one of those tracks that that has uh, gone way over the underground sort of. Yeah, completely. I mean, completely. it's I mean, it yeah, has twenty three million hits on YouTube. <laughs> like so and, and it's it's if if i play it in 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 places like ireland or or england or ibiza it's just i mean yeah. saturday night in milan people were asking for needing me and i'm like it really seriously still yeah yeah yeah, yeah still but but That's... but that made me think that made me think i mean i understand who is is going through that moment of making that kind of music because they're they're in a certain phase of their career and there's nothing wrong with that if they love it it's fine i'm in another place right now where i want to where i naturally feel like doing something else yeah and i still have i give myself another 15 years at least yeah. of experimenting and 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 pushing myself to places where and let me say this there's no way I'm going to go to I'm no there's no way there's no way I will have a minimum chance of going to those places if I don't feel free to go there if I don't feel free to just do yeah well what you truly need to do to get there. You're the only one that really knows how to get to where exactly. you are. <laughs> That's exactly the point. And when, when, when you listen to, when you put yourself in a different environment and start living in a different way and start, you know, you start living like everyone else, uh -huh. basically. And you start understanding that people listen to a certain trend of music these days and that is what is current in a more mainstream sort of you know yeah and yeah. um Definitely. and that is and that has influenced a lot my uh thinking process lately because yeah. i'm i'm interested in that i'm interested in in um in making timeless tracks that have feelings rather than chasing the trend completely 
and that's and that and then i know it, it, going back to needing me again but then that is essentially a part of the formula which which even if it was 12 years ago for it is it is indeed you create a timeless classic <laughs> it, it is because in, in that moment uh, um it was it was just something completely different no yeah yeah actually Absolutely. we at, at the time um I didn't even know if I was supposed to send it. It was too, really? it was not, well, you see, I moved away from a previous project where I was doing a progressive uh, house mm -hmm. and um, with a little bit of trance in it, yeah. like my records were sort of Sasha Digwid, Hernan Cattaneo sort of, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. And then I moved away from that because they were, because I was becoming more house, more housey. So yeah. I ch I decided to change the name, and then and then brick house, and then ninety five, and then which were too underground, proper, very few sounds, very raw, very saturated. Uh, all recorded live. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. It was, it was, uh, okay, now I have a sound. And then Needing Me comes immediately where, in a way, yes, the hit hats are the same and sort of the, 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 the first few layers are the same, but then the, the, the vocal and the synths mm -hmm. and, and, and the bass line with the synth bass line and, yeah. And, and um, so much all going that was was already and like, and I'm I'm saying to myself, you know, you, you want to be a fundamentalist on one side mm. because that will pay off in this moment of your career, but at the same time, I've got, I've got, I've got something special here. So do I send it or do I compromise the the project or? Do I not compromise the project? I ended up sending it, and and mm -hmm. and, and, and the rest is you know the rest. But <laughs> uh, I'm 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 pretty happy of that because yeah, in a sense, while I was doing that, I knew that on the long run, if that was really such a big record as I thought it would have been, mm -hmm. I would have put myself in a difficult position once again because I would have had to regenerate something bigger and something more different. And I would have had to evolve out of that fundamentalist yeah. way of thinking, which for me is a big suffocation on the growth of electronic music being doing the same things, okay. doing the same. It's for me, it's, it's for me. No, origi it's, no originality. Me, <laughs> but no, no, no. But for me personally, for me, for the way I am, for the way I need to, be creative for the way I need to be colored and different and and uh, different just yeah. not not uh, free not different free for me uh -huh. so nothing against anyone uh, I mean yeah. there's so many incredible producers that I love what they're doing even if if maybe it's it's very similar to what I was doing many years ago and that doesn't that that it, we're all in different positions all in different moments of our lives all yeah, in different of course. Uh, so it's fine I'm but one of the one, one of the points that you mentioned there with it was you didn't have to compromise on on your own originality you could have tried to like you say maybe not send it and and try to rework it in a certain way to what you thought might have been wanted more at the time exactly. but that originality bleeds through the record so much that people were still asking you on saturday night for it yeah. Yeah. and there's there's there's, yeah. a, there's for example there's a uh, there's a track on the album that is is pretty special mm -hmm. for me yeah. Uh, yeah. Th there right. there's there are different ones uh, of different genres if if you may uh, but there's one that for me is is super special, and 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 every single person, as yourself or PR yeah. company or the uh, uh, everyone that's involved, everyone has spotted that track, mm -hmm. and several labels have asked me for that track, and several labels have asked me to put their hands on it. So, because the pros, the reality of of things is that uh, it's not that you 
well, at the time it was like that. At the time you would finish a record and if it was a big record, it, and, but it was in my experience, my little experience, it was difficult that, that you would uh, have a, a record label that would ask you for the parts and then change them around and, and yeah. you know, take it. now yeah. it's pretty, now it's pretty normal. Yeah. But on that particular record, I've said no. Yeah. Uh, I would, I would probably feel comfortable if certain people were to rework a second version because I mm. trust maybe those people, but I would stick to this version because it's unique as it is. It's yeah. different. Yeah, of course. And especially so, as part of the collaborative work of the album to have a, a record like that, which is truly unique and, and, and truly re reflects that 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 sound that signal that you want to put out with this release it's of the album special to me yeah exactly anyway. and like i said like i mentioned earlier music is such a great medium to relay emotion and energy from the creator to the wider audience that exactly to have that connection to it and that's that's what the song's built for that's what uh, See, that actually i'd like to say something about this because uh, I've, I've had this this epiphany um uh -huh which has also helped me a lot during COVID, changed my mindset. If you think of it, how many records do we have to do? How many gigs do we have to do? How many things do we have to do to feel fulfilled? Because at the end of the day, it's we're, we're, we're probably going to be defined by one or two or three or five, but a minimum number of records. We're probably going to remember... How many moments can you, I mean, I can remember many moments, but, but they're only moments that they're, they're very minuscule compared. I've done like 900 gigs in my career. Yeah. <laughs> and I can remember even 20 moments. I don't know, but they're like, they're seconds. They're seconds. Cool. They're very special. And, and people go to gigs to live those special moments where they've, they've reached a couple of seconds where they were completely free from, and and that mm -hmm. even though it's yeah. even though it's just seconds, it takes it takes a, lo a long time to put people in that place as a DJ. It takes many. It takes time as a clubber to get into that emotional state. It takes time as a producer to build that ability to so if you listen to a record that might not seem too in line with the current bangers that you hear on radio but maybe it has that emotional power Maybe. that that only few can can actually detect and if it has that power that power is so much important than having the cake and the baseline that are aligned as, as, as you know, the, yeah. the more commercial. So Completely. that's why some tracks just, boom, they, mm. they rock just it. Connect. Yeah. They, they, because they connect because they have that feeling, that real feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and the more touring you do, the more for me, eh, this is my opinion, this is my experience, but the more you disconnect from looking for those feelings in the studio, looking for those feelings while you're playing, mm -hmm. the more difficult you will find it to actually express something that you want to express with your music. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. more you live in a balanced way, everything from your personal life to your music life and to the way you manage yourself, the way you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. So the way you think, the way you perceive yourself independently from all the attacks from the media, from the industry, from the people that manage you, from the people that expect from you, from your family, from everyone, how you carry yourself because of how true you are, how fulfilled you are, how deeply you believe in what you do. And that's when you discover yourself. That's mm -hmm. when you feel free. And that's when the magic comes in the music. And it's like, it's like I think of 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 uh, imagine Real Madrid playing against Real 
Basilio, which is yeah. my the, the town where I live. Okay. But Real Basilio would be running like mad and doing million million gigs, a million records, and you're running and they and they never score Real Madrid. They they stay <laughs> like they touch three balls and they score three goals. <laughs> right. So, what is the bigger picture strategy to be happy and make music and 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 really live a fulfilled life in music? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. This is this is what I'm experiencing. Yeah, right. And and finding your own. Probably the youngsters are just like, oh, he's boring. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they'll but... get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll get around. <laughs> but um, I it was sorry, I hit the button. Um, there was one last thing. Actually, we were just curious. See. Um, on your your outlook towards radio specifically um and maybe how you perceive the promotion of music through radio as an asset and how because we we discussed, we discussed streaming and, and everything like that and how that has changed how music's digested to some extent but your opinion on 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 radio itself and how you feel like promotion or, or like at least digestion of music through radio means these days is still very important and growing in fact um in many parts of the world just curious. See, so first of all i um i started doing this in a radio because i used to um i used to uh, work i've worked in several radio stations during university yeah. Because I because my mother was was Irish, so I could speak English and they were looking for someone that could speak English and blah, blah, blah. And that got me through a girlfriend that I had. It got me into a big radio station here in Italy. And I was working mm -hmm. with, uh, with this radio for uh, two, three years. And uh, I understood it, it wasn't the right way to do what I wanted to do because I wanted to be a performing DJ at the time. I was I just wanted to DJ. That's yeah. all I was worried about <laughs> so but i've always loved uh, radio stations i've had a radio show for years which stopped with covid because it was unsustainable but yeah. i'd still go i'd still love to go back to doing a radio show and and uh, maybe work for a radio because it's um <laughs> It allows you to, so this is my perception of radio. And this is also something that along with the gym has influenced me so much with, with where I'm going and what I want to do and how free I want to be in doing what I do and how free I want to be in playing what I want to play and why I'm so inclined in investing more, going to America and places like that where, the, where I feel that being a new market it's it doesn't have the a lot of the sub structure that we have in europe yeah. that obliges you to be cool and it's just they're going for it yeah it's real yeah and that's how radios that's how i perceive uh, uh, radios these days as well if you look at uh, a lot of the playlists of a lot of the biggest djs or a lot of the djs that are you know, uh, are getting the the bigger attention these days. Uh, there's there's the the a lot of them are very mainstream, mm -hmm. but in a way, they represent with radios what is actually current right now. Yeah. It's just it's just that they probably are a step forward mm -hmm. in in how they think and how they are doing what they do uh, i mean all the propaganda all the historically the good propaganda and the bad part they all come from uh, radio radio is is one of the main yeah ways to communicate to 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 people which means that you can put good ideas in their head bad ideas in their head good music in their head bad idea bad music in their head good music in their head. so it's a big responsibility to okay. to mix uh, to mix uh, credible underground 
but still maybe radiophonic music with more mainstream, but still cool. Mm-hmm. And and then you must also think that people listen to the what 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 is the effect? Again, what is the mechanism that you're constrained that that you oblige yourself? Oh, I have to make a cool track because so I look cool, and I and and but but what's the effect of 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 the music you make on the people that listen to your music? And that's why at a certain age, you sort of feel spontaneously drawn to making more mainstream music because you understand how music is perceived, how music is utilized. And you, you start thinking, okay, people listen to the music in, in their cars because they and are they relaxed and they feel alive when they're going home or when they're going to work or when they're coming home from work or when they go to the gym or when they go running and they need that, you know, Mm, there's a, a humanistic element to it as well. Isn't uh, it? it's it's yeah. there's there's so and and radio represents has a a, a huge responsibility. Uh, mm-hmm. in that. So fortunately, radios are, in my opinion, still very free from the bullshit of <laughs> the uh, of the industry, which means that I'm pretty happy with with. Uh, with um with what i hear on 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 the radio not not as much in italy because in italy we um the the radios are are done by the same people that were doing the records in in the 90s so they're playing their own records 50 40 years Mm. after later (laughs) still playing the same music and it's (laughs) And, and, and so you get on, the royalties too. <laughs> exactly. And and, and uh, exactly. And and even even the um even the more technical radios like the more electronic music radios, they only privilege the the mainstream artists, which in a way is correct because of what I said before, mm-hmm. but also the being a technical radio, I feel that there should be space for more underground. I mean, yeah. um, to make it real. I mean, it has to go from yeah. A to Z if it's an electronic music radio station. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So um, there's so, it's, there's so many subgenres, whatever you want to call them, in the electronic sphere now yeah. that. Even here, like at Select, we have twenty like shows, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, and I guarantee there's probably still corners of the electronics sphere that they haven't managed to put a show on for just yet. But it's beautiful when you can openly receive fresh underground connections, um, especially. Don't get me wrong, there are some big radio stations that do a very good jobs of connecting with um, some elements of the underground now, but yeah, yeah, there's, a, there's always work in, in crate, crate digging, I guess you could still call it that. <laughs> um, yeah, into the, into the far corners of it. But also I, I feel, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know, but I, 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 I don't see... I don't see uh, so much industry politics in the radio mm. playlists than than uh, I I, I, yeah. I maybe I'm maybe I'm uh, I'm naive. Eh? I don't know. No, I, 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 I think it's. I think that people that do radio have the power and have the freedom to just, you know, just. Yeah. If they like it, they want to they, play it. Yeah, and, and it doesn't matter if it's coming from uh, a, a, a vintage culture or if it's coming from a from a uh, you know an unknown project or whatever whatever yeah. it is yeah. or in the middle. It doesn't matter as long as it's 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 exciting and it's yeah. power. It's you know. Yeah. Um, That's the beauty of it. Because there's there are a lot there are a lot of radio shows. In like the 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 reason why I would like to do a radio show is that it would put me it would oblige me to really um, research more than what yeah. I do, which yeah. means I would be obliging myself to spend more time with electronic music, which I'm happy to now that I have the time. So I I'm it's something that I'm thinking about because it would it would. Uh, 
you know, I would, I, I've been buying vinyl since the beginning of the nineties. So, you know, yeah. I, I would put this at service of, of, uh, of, of, of joy and, and, and of people. And well, we can always help you out with that. If it ever comes to it. And so, you know, and so it's, it's, um, but I would, I would, I would definitely try to make it, as real as possible yeah no no bullshit no yeah. you know yeah no playing True. the track of your friend no playing this no play because there's a lot of that and then and yeah. then it becomes and, and if you get into that sort of loop and then there's nothing real left mm -hmm. i look at today's charts they're all the first thing is that oh, you do a chart because you have to promote your own record mm -hmm. So you have to promote your own record and then immediately you have to promote some other record from the label where your record has been released on. So you're already two records. Then you have to promote something from your own label. Then you have to promote something from your past. Mm -hmm. Then you have to promote the, your friend's record. Then you have a collaboration coming with that other guy. And so you're going to promote a, a record coming from that. And then you end up doing a chart, which has nothing to do with your actual it loses it loses it, it it doesn't have a meaning anymore no yeah yeah this is the sound and so this is why this is why radios because they're less probably uh in, entangled how do you say yeah, with the, the yeah, industry yeah, yeah. They're, they're yeah. still more independent they're on top yeah. of it in a way because radios have always been on top of of uh, you used to have to go to a radio give them your vinyl and hope that they would play it yeah exactly so the radio guy was someone that you would oh, okay a mm -hmm. bit more of a, a and so okay. i feel that it's still in that radio is still in that position that's brilliant and uh i think it, i think it i think it really is you know it's uh for me it was covid that it was a big flashpoint where i realized the importance of radio and i think it's grown in popularity to even more even more of a higher level since since before that it was at and and we hope for the foreseeable for it to continue to continue to grow to the level it's at and allow everyone to find this incredible dance music and expose and showcase some of the incredible dance music such as your upcoming release this music with <laughs> and luke which shall be out this friday <laughs> which we are all very very much excited to spinning yeah. on that aisle for many 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 weeks to come <laughs> thank you thank you oh and my house wants to set off a fire alarm so that's good <laughs> i'm so sorry about that i'm gonna have to go and, and kill him uh, <laughs> but that was actually perfect time Sajo. thank you so much for your time um no, thank you connor it was a pleasure talking to you thank you, you. brilliant have a lovely day talk soon eh yeah we okay. will very much soon Thank you. Okay. Talk on it.